welcome to Springs Kids. I'm Megan and I'm so glad you're joining us today. If you are four, five, or six years old, our Kinder Church class is made specially for you. And if you live in Winnipeg or Calgary, we would love to have you come check it out. Every week we have playtime where you can have fun with toys, make a craft and make new friends, play exciting games and eat delicious snacks. Dance along to fun music while you praise and worship God. And most importantly, we have a Bible lesson geared right to your age group so you can learn more about God, how much He loves you, and the amazing plan He has for your life. Here at Springs, our culture is to laugh. L stands for love. We should all love one another. A is for accept. We should accept each other and all be friends. And F stands for forgive. <laughs> we all make mistakes and should learn to forgive. Hey everyone, I'm Percy. Uh, excuse me, Megan, that is amazing. But can we show all these kids at home today's lesson too? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Nice. We've got a super fun lesson this week. I can't wait for you to see it. Hey kids, you know what I love about Christmas? It's spending time with my family and my friends and with Jesus. What's beautiful is the fact that Jesus loves you, cares about you, he's your best friend, and for the rest of your life, Jesus wants to be with you. And as you pray and hang out together, it makes life so special. And I want to remind you that Jesus is the gift from God to you and I. And as you enjoy Christmas with your friends and your family, I hope you laugh. I hope that you have a great time. And from Pastor Sally and I, we love you. And we hope that you have an amazing holiday with all your friends and family. Hey guys, it's memory verse time. Let's all practice this month's memory verse together and I can teach you some actions with it. Ready? Here we go. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Do you guys think you can repeat it after me? All right, let's all do it together. Are you ready? God has given a son to 
to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Awesome job, everyone. Now let's all stand up together and say it all together. Are you guys ready? Okay, God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Great job, everyone. Great job with the memory verse. All of you did such an awesome job. Oh, oh. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hi, friends. I'm Hayden. My neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue, gave me this special Christmas present. I can't wait to see what it is. An alphabet puzzle? This is so great! Every letter is here. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. The letter W is missing. There's so many words we can't make without the letter W. W is for wings. And without the letter W, I can't have my favorite breakfast. W is for waffles. I can eat all of them. This puzzle's so fun, but I don't know what to do about the letter W. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Missing an important letter, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Miss Kathy Sue gave me this cool gift, but I can't find the letter W. W is a wonderful letter. It's true. And I have a special W word for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Hey everyone, I'm Justin the Mailman, and it's great to see you. I just found this gift in my mailbag. It didn't get delivered before Christmas, so I want to make sure I get it delivered today. You know, we can keep celebrating that God gave us Jesus even after Christmas Day. Every day is a great day to celebrate Jesus. In fact, I have a story about some people who celebrated Jesus after he was born. Here, let me show you. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... This part of the true story of Christmas begins with wise men. W is for wise men. Everyone say, W is for wise men. W is for wise men. The wise men knew that God was sending someone very special, and they wanted to see him. Then, one night, they saw a very big, beautiful star in the sky. The wise men knew they needed to follow the star. Wait, where did the star go? Does anybody see it? There it is. Quick, wise men, follow that star. Whew, you did it. Wait, there it goes again. Anyone see it? There, wise men, follow that star. Wow, the wise men had to follow the star for a long time, didn't they? Well, finally, they saw the star stop and under the star, they saw a house. Now, who do you think is living in that house? Let's find out. When the wise men got to the house, they found Jesus. Is that who you guessed it would be? Let's see what happens next. When the wise men saw Jesus, they knew he was the very special person they were looking for. He was the one God sent to show his love for everyone. So the wise men bowed down and worshiped him. 
and gave him their very best gifts. Then they celebrated that Jesus had been born. That is an awesome story. The wise men traveled a long, long way to give Jesus gifts and worship him. They knew that God gave us Jesus because he loves us so much. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. The wise men celebrated Jesus, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, the wise men followed the star to find Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus, and we can celebrate him all year long. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Wait a minute, there's something in the bottom of the bag. It's the missing letter W! Now we have the letter W for... Wiseman! W is for Wiseman! Bye, see you next time! Today we learned about the wise men. They knew that God was sending someone very special and they wanted to see him. One night they saw a big beautiful star in the sky and they started following it. They followed it for a long time until the star stopped over a house. When they got to the house, the wise men found Jesus. They knew he was the one they were looking for. Jesus was the one God sent to show his love for everyone. The wise men bowed down and they worshiped Jesus and gave him their very best gifts. It wasn't Jesus's birthday or Christmas time, but the wise men still wanted to celebrate Jesus, worship him and give him gifts. They knew Jesus was very special. They knew that God gave us Jesus. Did you know that we can celebrate Jesus every day too? I want you to think about what present you would give Jesus if he had a birthday party. You could give Jesus anything. What would you give him? Would it be your favorite toy or stuffy? Maybe you would make him a card or bake him a cake. I think Jesus would really like your gifts, but the best gift that you could ever give Jesus is to be his friend and love him the way that he loves you. And that's why God gave us Jesus, to be our friend forever. Let's pray, and then I have a really fun game for us to play. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, Jesus is the best gift ever. And because Jesus is the best friend ever, we know that Jesus really wants us to be his friend and love him the way that he loves us. I pray every person here will do that one day. You're the best God, we love you very much. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, can you see all those beautiful stars? It is perfect for our game. Now I've got three boxes here and under this box is a star. Now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put this lid back on, and I'm gonna mix up the boxes, and you guys have to keep an eye on this box so you can tell me which box has the star in it, okay? All right, let's play. Keep your eye on this one. You got your eye on it? Do you know which one it is? Okay, I'm gonna leave the boxes there. Which box has the star? This one? Are you guys sure? Okay. There's nothing in there. Okay, which one? This one? Okay, let's see. Whoa, you guys got it right. All right, so keep your eye on this box. We're gonna do it one more time. Let's see if you can get it the first try, okay? 
Ooh. Do you see where it is? Do you see it? Okay. Which box has a star in it? The center one? Okay, let's see. Whoa, you guys got it. Great job, you guys. Thank you so much for playing this game with me. I had so much fun. Now I have one more video for you guys to watch. Let's take a look. An angel came down from God to say, Mary will have a baby on Christmas Day. His name will be Jesus, God's only Son, to show that God loves everyone. Mary and Joseph traveled far, far away. When they got to Bethlehem, there was no place to stay. God gave them a stable filled with cows and sheep. Jesus was born and on hay he did sleep. The shepherds were watching their sheep at night. An angel came and caused a great fright. Don't be afraid, I have the good news. Jesus is born for you and you and you. The angels sang, the shepherds ran, to see the baby God sent to man. It was the best news they had ever heard. They hurried off to spread the word. The wise men came following a special star. All the way to Jesus, they came from afar. They knocked on his door, then knelt on the floor and worshiped the one we all should adore. They gave their gifts to the little boy and everyone's heart was filled with joy. Jesus is God's only son, the greatest gift for everyone. Hey guys, I'm so glad you joined us here today. We love learning about God, how much He loves us, and the amazing things He wants us to do. Did you know that you are loved so much by God that He sent His Son Jesus to die on a cross? He died, but He's such a hero. The best and true hero that He defeated death, came back to life, and wants to be our best friend forever and ever. How amazing is that? We're going to pray a super awesome prayer right now, and we can ask Him to come and live in our hearts and be with us forever and help us to be superheroes too. With God in our hearts, we can live the best life possible. We can be brave, we can be strong, we can have joy and peace. He gives us healing when we're sick, and He's a friend when we're lonely, and He gives us blessings so amazing that we can't even imagine. Let's pray, and I want you guys to repeat this after me. You ready? Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on a cross for me and coming back to life to be my forever friend. I want you to come into my heart I want to follow you and love you forever and ever. Help me to learn and grow every day to be more like you, a true superhero. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, you guys, I'm so glad you prayed that prayer with me. If you don't have a Bible at home, you can ask your parents to contact us and we'll send you one. And don't forget to tell them to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye.